Today I am at this cute place called um, Sefapani Lodge and Safari. It's uh, situated in Palabura and of course it's a safari place so it has to be situated close to uh, the Kruger National Park where if you visit you get to see the big five. Um, unfortunately I got here late on Friday. I would have given you guys that content but I was late because of some logistics that uh, were beyond my control. So I'm just going to give you a short tour of our rendezvous. Um, as we can see, it has a very unique um, design to it and um, it's situated in what looks like an estate. Um, let me just take you inside. We'll just figure out the rest as we move around the property. As you know, this is the signature look for most places around here. You get a thatched roof. And um, it's a rendezvous, so obviously it will have a designer of your own. Um, here you have your table where you can just sit around and you know, grab some coffee, study. It also comes with an aircon and um, this small sitting area here. I'm not sure what I would use this for, but um, I mean, it, it gives the place a complete look. And it has these, this is actually a twin bed you can either separate them or keep them as they are and um, it has two lamps on both sides it is okay two lamps one one does that make sense and um this side we have a mini closet where you can put your clothes you know um we kind of packed our things because we are on our way out and um it has a small tv with access to a couple of uh, channels on the dstv and um follow me i will show you the bathroom it's very cute so obviously you get the basics you get towels you get a, a basin with a huge mirror and then you get a shower this side um i must say i was pretty bummed that we actually didn't get an outside shower because this place is cute i mean you could use it with an outside shower that's about it about the room um i'll show you around the property as i go to the other side it's huge it's a huge estate thank you as you guys know i came here with the suzuki and um it's one of the most comfortable cars i must say i mean i've had such a brilliant journey even when it was at night I was able to make it on time i'm just going to give you a tour of the place um as i said it's quite big and it has a lot of uh, accommodation for different prices the place that pam and i stayed in the room it's one of their luxury um rooms around but um obviously there's something that is better than what we had last night and there's something that is less better than we had at a different price so she's leaving me behind <laughs> what's new what's new we were supposed to travel together in the suzuki and she decided oh, she cannot inherit my problems i'm not really mad at it but um it's just life c'est la vie so this is the place as you can see on my left there are other rendezvous as well and on my right as well i must say one of the things that i love about this place is it gives you you know vacation vibes when you're on vacation what you want to hear in the morning is just the sounds of bed and um, i think we were upset at first that it's raining but i'm starting to appreciate it because you know this is kind of a different experience that you don't get when you live in the city so if you listen closely not to my footsteps of course if you listen closely you will hear um cars we are situated close to the main road 
um, which I'm not really upset about, but it would have been better if we were not, considering that, you know, you really want to get the entire experience of this place without listening to cars moving around. So she just decided to drive to here, Pam. There she is. When we could have just taken this walk together. But hey, different strokes for different folks. Folks, yeah. That's what they say. So right now, we are heading to the reception area, which is adjacent to the restaurant. We are going to have our breakfast. And now, once we do have our breakfast, we are going to check out. This has been a fantastic stay, I must say. Though the weather was really bad yesterday when we went to the boat cruise, we couldn't really get nice pictures. <laughs> we couldn't really get nice pictures, but you know, we've been on the boat before and um i think i've shared some of my content from the boat it's very beautiful but i'll just caution if you are going there and you are not the one planning the boat you are you know like for us it was organized for us you need to just inquire about most of the things like what are what, what are you going to be doing on the boat because it's a, it's a two hour drive two hour drive does that sound right? Yeah, it's two hours on the boat. And, um, you know, had we known that nothing was actually planned, we would have just, you know, did a picnic basket or anything of that sort. So this is the bar just facing the pool. And that's the beach area. Pam says the water is warm. I'm not sure if that's in, in, in I am not sure if that's in Wow. I'm just saying I'm willing to risk it because the water is warm. I'm not sure if that's invitation to t take a dip. I mean, we've been looking forward to the pool. As you have seen in our previous travels, we actually couldn't get a chance to swim because we were doing game drives we were doing the what you call we were doing the uh gin tasting and we also went to do the boat drive i love this place at night um during the day i think i would prefer it if it's sunny so that i can just you know grab a chair sit down and as you can see, there's like um, more space under the fish. And this is where we're gonna have our breakfast. I must say, I'm not really a fan of buffets because you get overwhelmed. There's just like a whole lot of food, Tavela. There's just a whole lot of food. And you know, I prefer a meal specifically tailored for me, not for me to just, you know, like move from one place to another, just take your food. It overwhelms me. But let's see if today it's gonna be a different experience. So as I said, guys, um, this is a buffet, and I'm not quite a fan because you get overwhelmed and you don't quite know what to eat what not to eat. But let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. 